What is up guys, it's your boy Falcon back again and today we're working on the 2013 Ford Focus. Um, today I'm just going to show you what I found out on this vehicle. Now like a month or two ago you saw I made a video about replacing the alternator on this uh, Ford Focus and here let me explain to you why. On this vehicle the alternator started going down, the alternator is down there. I replaced it after like a week of using it with the new alternator. I started having issues where my battery light would come on in the dash. Um, but I checked the charging system and everything. So the alternator was charging fine. My battery was fine. Um, it was, I tested it. I double checked it. I recharged it all the way. It was working fine. I thought it might be the negative cable and then I replaced it. That still wasn't the issue. After doing a lot of research, um searching here and there different forums calling four dealerships there is apparently a tsb uh from 11 7 2013 um, which was made for 2012 ford focus this is a 2013 manufacturing date and everything says this is a 2013 so that tsb should not be for this vehicle but i figured i tried so many things i spent countless hours on this vehicle checking wiring harness checking continuity coming from here to there everything and i couldn't figure out so i figured let's give that a shot so basically what the tsb is telling you that this this vehicle has what they call an active grill shutters which is um little vents that that are on front or behind the grill but in front of the radiator so basically it has grill vents behind the, the the bumper cover all around here basically depending on what speed you're going those vents open up and close up it's not even so well according to what they're made for they're not even supposed i thought they were supposed to be for like keeping the car cooler or hotter depending you know in the warm-ups in the morning or in the afternoon but no it's actually supposed to be with the aerodynamic and help it with um uh, miles per gallon um, at different speeds are supposed to close up open up it's not supposed to be aerodynamic but whatever basically what it goes on according to this tsb is that the cable uh that goes to the alternator the cable that comes from the computer is basically the same cable or connected to the cable that goes to that little motor on the bottom the one that opens and opens and closes up those little vents um and if that motor for down there for those vents if that goes bad um basically what happens is that you the computer can no longer communicate with the alternator therefore giving you the idea the alternator is battery is not charging and then it turns on your uh, battery light inside your dash so the tsb basically tells you okay you know check your alternator make sure it's charging check your battery make sure it's completely charged and that it tests is positive or tests it's good and then disconnect um, the connector that goes for the little motor on the bottom um, for those uh, grill vents. After you disconnect it, test it again and see if they'll turn it off, turn it back on, and then see if your light goes off. I did that, and guess what? My battery light went off. So basically, the issue was down there was the little motor. Well, actually, I don't think it was so much the motor because when I, whenever I took off the connector um, that goes to that... Um, to the grill vents or whatever they're called um it was wet and the connectors like on one the connectors on on this side right here and um and the actual little motor is on the opposite side so i think i know that it was during like a rainy week or something so maybe that's what happened maybe the, we got water in the connector and that's what made everything short now and it wouldn't let the computer communicate um with the alternator but that was that's what happened on my vehicle so let me get down there and show you exactly where that connector is at so if you're having this issue on a i guess 2012 2013 for focus um you can't figure out why your battery light is on i would suggest disconnect this disconnecting this one connector and see if it goes on if it's still on then still i mean you got to check your alternator and your battery and stuff like that but let me show you all right so here we are under the vehicle this right here is actually the driver's side right under the bumper this is the bumper this is the driver's side this is the connector that i disconnected um right here you guys can see it and this connector actually goes around here and the other side where it gets connected is right here on the other side so here let me show you you see that connector up there with the purple wire 
that's where it goes so i actually put it up there because that the purple side is the side that comes from the computer so i was trying to make sure that it gets just dry um this one right here that it stays dry and it's not um wet because i just wanted to disconnect it and this side right here is the side that goes to little um grill shutters or grill vents and when i disconnected it this was full of water but basically this goes like this and then the wire the one with the purple um, connector that one back there comes from the top and they both get kind of connected right here on the side so you can't really see it but it goes right there on the side right by where your drain for your um radiator is at that's where it goes and let me show you the little i don't know if you can see it that little thing right here this little flap that's one of the grill vents that i'm talking about that's the connector i disconnected the connector i came back up here um disconnected the battery for like five minutes which you really don't have to do that but i did that i turned on the vehicle and my my alternator light or battery light red light never came back on so that's my issue right there it's that actual um those that motor vent on the bottom um to replace it you have to remove the entire uh, bumper cover and replace the whole thing i don't think you can replace just the motor uh, plus uh like years ago we went over over a bump um, I think it was a tire on the on the middle of the highway or something, but we did lose like one or two of those little flaps. So if I want to replace it, I would have to replace basically the whole thing. Um, so I just left it disconnected. Really, as long as that your flaps stay open, it shouldn't affect anything on your vehicle. Your vehicle should not over, overheat or anything like that. Um, so I just make sure that they were open and I disconnected it. And we've been driving it since um, for almost two months now. And I mean, there is no issues with it. So... If your battery light, your, bat your red battery light on your dash comes on and you can't figure out for the life of anything um, why it's on, but you you already checked your alternator is good and your battery is good, disconnect that wire, disconnect that connector and then see what happens. All right, guys. Well, I hope you got, you found this video helpful and informational. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell for me, share the channel. I will catch you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. You guys have yourselves a great day.